You know, no coverage of polymers would be complete without an activity involving cross-linked polyvinyl acetate. I'm talking, of course, about slime. How do you make slime? Well, there are lots of different recipes out there on the internet, but I've got uh, a recipe and a procedure I think you're going to find pretty easy. Um, and I've decided to do it in these, make it in these little tiny vials, so it's a small batch. Um, we're going to start with, I've already marked these, by the way. The W stands for water and the G stands for glue. And I have class sets of these and they're easy to clean out. Um, and they've been marked. This, by the way, is at 20 milliliters, and of course that then will be at 40 milliliters. So you're using equal amounts of water and glue. This is just a cup of water here that I'll pour to the water line. Okay? And you try to be as precise as you can. And um, just use any white glue. Elmer's works fine. And this is going to be almost at the top here. It's kind of neat as you pour this in there, you can see that the glue is very viscous, but it's also more dense. So that's a nice effect. You don't get to see that if you put the glue in first. Putting the water in first also makes the cleanup a little easier. Okay. So, there we go. If you want to make a, a colored cross-linked polymer, now's the time to add the food coloring. I'm going to add a little bit of green here, just a drop or two or three. And uh, now you stir it. And you could all do, you could do this in a graduated cylinder, but the trouble with trying to get a rod down in there to stir it. So, I find it's easier doing it in these little vials here, plastic snap cap vials. And the food coloring is nice because it definitely lets you know when you've got a nice homogeneous mixture, well stirred. You don't see any white left in there. It's all one continuous shade. I can see it's, I'm almost there. Okay, I'll come back to that and finish stirring that in a bit. Meanwhile, I probably should have started with this. This is 15 milliliters marked off there. Again, water. Okay, and I'm going to now add, the amount doesn't really matter because we're going to make a saturated solution. So I'm going to add a, a healthy scupula, whoop, that's easy, it's borax, sodium borate, and that's, um, I just buy it from the grocery store, 20 mule team borax, and this we're going to put a cap on and just shake up. We're making a saturated solution. So I tell the students to shake it for about 15 seconds. Most sodium compounds are very soluble. Sodium borate, eh, fairly soluble, but that'll make a saturated solution. You see it didn't all dissolve, it's kind of cloudy there. And um, I'll let that settle as I finish making this nice and homogeneous. Okay, where do I mix these? Now lots of directions say to mix them in a beaker or a cup or something like that. I like having the reaction occur inside a Ziploc bag. Stu students can then feel it getting more and more viscous as you mix it. So, here we go. I'm just going to take this, set it down there. We're going to pour the glue water mixture in first. And that actually is a pretty easy clean out with just with some water. And now, we could let this settle a little bit more, but there is some undissolved stuff at the bottom I'll just leave in there. It's okay if it's cloudy like that. It's had time for the major pieces to settle out. We're just going to decant this in there, okay? And you can see my undissolved crystals at the bottom there. When you zipper this closed, try to get rid of most of the air, okay? And now, oh, love that feel. Squishy. And whereas this can get kind of messy out in the open, inside the Ziploc bag, it stays pretty clean. And in fact, it lets you know when it's ready because it starts to come clean from the bag as you're mixing it like this. So I've made up a, I'll mix up this batch. I've already got a batch I made up earlier with some red food coloring. But uh, you see what I mean by the bag starts to come clean? Okay, some wonderful chemistry going on here as those borate ions from the sodium borate are cross-linking the short-chain polyvinyl acetate into a kind of a loose hammock. But as it does so, it creates a huge increase in viscosity. Okay, see, this is what I mean by the bag comes clean. So we can start to open this up. I like to let a little air, little air in there and then uh, reach in there and 
this is where students like me are supposed to touch this stuff. And uh, yeah, this is one of the few things where we have a chemical reaction where you're in, in, encouraged to handle the products. And look at this. Sometimes it's literally all over the place. If the students reach in there prematurely, they go, oh, this is so nice and clean, nice and stretchy. Is it a solid? Is it a liquid? Sometimes it's called a non-Newtonian fluid. It has some interesting properties there. Um, one of them, one of the things you can do with this is to demonstrate its high viscosity by placing it in a funnel. And I've got such a funnel right here, a little cutoff bottle. We'll let that sit for a while. Meantime, interesting thing, you can stretch it slowly, right, that's fine. If you try stretching it quickly, it shears off. That's rather unusual. That's how it's behaving, kind of like a liquid, kind of like a solid. Does it have a definite shape? I'd have to say no. I mean, obviously, look at it flowing here. <laughs> if you looked up viscosity in a dictionary, that's the picture you should see right there. That's high viscosity, okay? Um, Another nice thing you can do with this, here's a straw. This is not the straw I used to stir it with. Um, but uh, if you kind of make it into a little pancake and then wrap it around the end of the straw, you can blow little slime bubbles. <laughs> They're kind of fun there. Okay. An idea for a science fair project, because this is ripe for science fair. It's got all the ingredients, the easily, access easily accessible materials and fun to play with. Make up batches of this stuff, just changing one parameter, perhaps the amount of water you add with the sodium borate, and see what impact that has on the viscosity as measured by the time it takes from the time you put it in there to fall, let's say, 30 centimeters. This has some nice little patterns it forms like honey, another viscous material, as it uh, flows out on the table. That probably is looking pretty good on the camera there. Okay? So let me go to the board to make sure you understand the chemistry of this. It's pretty simple, though. Okay? In the glue, we have the, the uh, polyvinyl, polyvinyl acetate short-chain monomers, um, short-chain polymers, but they are at a relatively high concentration. So imagine them like a bunch of worms, all like that. If I were to add the sodium borate directly to the glue, without mixing the glue and water first, I would have the borate ions cross-linking so extensively, I'd end up with something like silly putty. It would be nowhere near as fluid as that. If I put that in that funnel, it'd probably be three years before it started to fl flow through. So you can fine tune the viscosity by adding water. So again, that would take those short polymer chains and spread them out some more. And now when you go ahead and add the borate, you don't get nearly as much cross-linking. You do get some, of course. That's what causes the increase in viscosity. But the fact that the, the polymer chains are spread out a bit first and then cross-linked is what gives you that just the right consistency. So that glue to water proportion, about 50-50, is critical. You add too much water, if you add too much water, you get almost no cross-linking and the stuff remains sticky like glue. Not enough water, it becomes, it's too hard, it's too, too viscous. But just the right amount of water, just the right amount of spray out of those polyvinyl acetate chains, you get just the right amount of cross-linking, you get something that's not sticky, not hard, but it's a nice consistency of slime. So, uh, wow, cross-linking, very, very important process in, in polymer chemistry, and one that's really easy to do an activity about. So, there it is, slime, thank you. <laughs>